And I don't know why everyone's so anxious because there is a spouse for you, inshallah. Allah created you a spouse from amongst yourself for the sole purpose of what? The purpose is to find peace. That is the purpose of having a spouse. That you must be able to speak to that person, communicate to that person and relieve the stress that the person is experiencing. Bring calm, relaxation to that individual. That is the purpose of marriage. And what else? And then the second one is love and mercy. Now, when we speak about marriage, all the, the purpose why we all are here is to find a suitable partner. Do we really find the word suitable partner? Is it something like that? How do we find whether that person is the correct person for us? And one of the means is, if that person's background is the same as you, as, as you as what you experience. If that person's aspirations and future is the same and lines up with your future and your aspiration, then that is the way you find out that would be the suitable partner. We earlier alluded to the fact of, you know, deed is important. Is deed really important in marriage? Is deen really that important? Yeah. So we have to discard the three other things mentioned in the hadith, your lineage, your wealth, your beauty. A person don't want to stand at the end of the morning, the next following morning after the marriage said, Ya Salam. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, the Prophet said, Fal far deen. Yes, choose the deen, but take notice of the other aspects as well. Consider the other aspects as well. And Islam teaches us what about moderation. If we can find a person, perhaps a very difficult, perfect individual, you will not find. Yes, I want that person because I love the person, huh? Love before marriage. Because the ayat says the love develops once you find what you have mercy, there's peace and tranquility. Inner peace, very important. And, and I'm sure you everyone come out here today to find that inner peace. To find that you know, if I have that spouse, I don't need to worry about it. Hunna libasun lakum, wa antum libasun lahum. That you are his garment and he's your garment. Protect each other's on each other's honor and dignity. That is what marriage is about. So there are red flags, and we understand that the first one is. That we're looking for is one of the ladies mentioned piety, religion, and akhlaq. And what is important is 
sometimes we think, you know what, um, the religion is not important. Um, we can always work on it. Yes, I agree. What you do in extreme, that the scarf is a compulsory. The film and the beard is not making him a Muslim. MashaAllah, you went to the masjid and before Salah. That's a type of man I want. No. No. The type of individual is the individual that will give you the holistic individual of he fulfills all those requirements in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So if someone comes knock at the door, go perhaps after tonight to give the, phone, the number, your number or your wakil's number to someone, and he comes knocks, or the men, you have some lady that you want to interested in. We know what happened in the past. Let me tell you that in some cultures, when the person comes and come knock at the door and he comes in and is interested in the particular lady, that he will find she will make the tea and she will throw salt in there and make it bitter. And when the husband drinks it, then she knows you will go through the difficult times with me. You will struggle with me. You will you know, that's a sign, but that's not ultimate. We need inner peace in our lives. Ultimately, we come from a religion of peace. Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam wa ilayka ya'udu salam. It is that same peace that we speak about that we want inner peace that today we find couples they cannot communicate with one another. Husband and wife, they're sitting opposite each other and they literally text each other because they cannot find common ground, that inner peace. If you want to know whether that person is a suitable person and when we look at the red, red flags, then look at how that person is treating your parents. I had an instance where after the nikah, I look at the husband in the manner in which he spoke to his own mother. Now if that is a man who addresses a female, he addresses his own mother, how is he going to address you as a female in time? Another red flag is, you know, that we think that we can change the person. No, I will change him, Sheikh. Wallahi, no problem. Give me so few months. I can manage. Now I love him. I'm prepared to go with, with whatever he gives. I will change him. And once again, I have the instance where this young lady said, Sheikh, we all make mistakes and I love him so much. I'm prepared to marry him. And I'm convinced I can change him. Three months later, she wants out of the marriage. Cannot manage anymore. If a person commits haram before a marriage, is another red flag. Because that is indication of what will happen in the marriage. And being a person or a people's pleaser, is another red flag. If everyone else he says yes, 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 yes. Ask him anything is yes, yes, yes. A people's pleaser. But when the husband the, or the partner asks him, sorry man, I don't have time. So imagine when he needs to defend you or, he, or she needs to defend him. SubhanAllah. She will never be able to do it. I want to please people. And I want to bring the last one to the, to the table. Is a company that we keep. So if a person associates himself with a certain type of individual, a person is on the religion of his friend. 
and words, you will follow the same trend of the spread. So it's very important to look at what type of individual the person, you know, um, keeps himself up. We find ourselves in a, a, you know, you're not sure whether the person is a correct person for you. You're not sure whether, you know, the relationship is the correct relationship that you want to enter into. But this is life. Marriages works out and marriages also don't work out. It is life. Look at Subhanallah, the greatest companion, uh, greatest one of the prophets, Abi Nuh What And his wife turned out to be totally the opposite that he wanted to. He thought he can change. Likewise, Asia, the wife of your own, subhanAllah. People change. Circumstances is the reason why they have changed. You know? So, is that part of the taqdeer of Allah Is it part of the taqdeer for you to sit here and look for a partner? It's part of the taqdeer, but we have that one thing in our hands, and that is to make that choice. And at times we are afraid to make the correct choice. But it is time that we say tawakkul on Allah, I've ticked all the boxes, and inshallah ta'ala, I'm prepared to commit myself to a marriage. And if that intention is pure, then Allah ta'ala will make the path to success easy. But if my intention is not pure, then the path to success will be very difficult. But brothers and sisters, without any doubt, life is, comes with its challenges. Marriage will come with its challenges. It is how we navigate, navigate through the difficulties, through the challenges, and how we cover each other and protect each other and share the emotions that we have with each other in order to build a better society, a better home, and a better life. May Allah bless you for your intentions. Allah guide and protect you. And may Allah grant you a spouse that will bring inner contentment in your hearts. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala alayhi wa sallam. Wa ala alayhi wa sallam.